and you'll be able to see that live 5,000 meters women's final at 5 50, 50 British time 10 to 6 British time and now heat for the final heat in the first round of the men's 4 by 100 meter relay first three go through as of right thus the four fastest losers to the semis later on today Great Britain go in lane 6 lane 1 empty Greece in 2 Mexico in 3 New Zealand in four, Ukraine in five, Britain six, it's in Italy in lane eight. Three go through. The British team going in lane number six. The lead-off man, 19 years old, Jason Gardner. Comes from the Bath Club, second in the World Junior Championship last year. Called in, of course, because Linford Christie is injured. Although Linford may well not have run in this opening leg, in this opening uh, round anyway. On the second leg will be Darren Braithwaite of Haringey, 3 A's champion, semi finalist in the 100, wearing 5 2 8 on his back. Darren having his best season ever, 10 1 2 this season. He hands over to John Regis on the third leg. John, the good bed runner, as all 200 meter runners have got to be. He's 28 now, John, comes from Belgrave. Seventh in the 200. Tight lane draw then, though. Didn't suit him, lane one. He'll, he'll be happy out there in lane six. And Regis hands on to the anchor man, Solomon Marisso of Haringey. He's 28, semi finalist in the 200 meters. on a 10-4 wind assisted this season perhaps a better 200 meter runner but he'll run a good anchor leg as well John Regis running in his fourth world championship got a good record well now the long jump in the meantime First round of the long jump, in fact, and this is the reigning champion, Mike Powell, also the world record holder. At distance, he did 8.95 in that classic competition in Tokyo in 1991. He's won the last two. Oh, that's a good solid start. It looks as though there could be a bit of a headwind there, or a wind that's certainly swirling around. The little uh, red tape that you saw. We'll give you that distance later. Meanwhile, back to the relay. Well, they've been called forward. Jason Gardner on the first leg. Big night for him. Great Britain in lane six. A reminder of the lineup: lane one empty, then Greece, Mexico, New Zealand, Ukraine, Great Britain, St. Kitts, and Italy. The first three go through as of right yeah. away first time Gardner got away very well indeed. He's running a good leg here. Ukraine going well as well, and right on the outside, Italy. Italy perhaps with a slight advantage. Britain through safely there. Darren Braithwell on the second leg is running a stormer. Cut back on the Italians and on to John Regis. Italy on the outside. Great Britain in second place at the moment. The Greeks on the inside. Also going well, Ukraine. Changeover vital here, and it wasn't bad. On their side, Italy being run down, not quite. Italy with it, Great Britain second, and the Greeks in third place, Ukraine four, the time 39 seconds. Well, they've had to put this squad together at short notice. It's the slowest qualifying time so far, but that doesn't matter, Sally. No, I think we had some reasonably good changeovers there. These guys only had one practice, and that was just a couple of days ago. Jason Gardner here, called out at the last minute, and he had a great Start. We might find that this position here might be taken over by Tony Jarrett once he's got the hurdles out the way, but we'll just have to wait and see. This guy did himself credit here. 
But this next changeover is probably out of them was not quite up to scratch, but these guys would only just have had a little practice. Just slowing down there. That's out hand. Come changeover, gets a bad. And down Brate into a great second leg. Really managed to pick his speed up well. And here he does, coming into Jason Regis. He'll be feeling it tired today after his 200 last couple of days. But this was a changeover. These guys have obviously been training together. And maybe had a, quite a practice. Nice and clean. A little bit close there, but that wasn't bad. John Regis in full flight there. And this is where John's at his best, on this bend. Hugs close to that line there. Staying nice and relaxed. Solomon Morisso on the last leg. John just in there, close again, but he just gets it, cleans off. And then a good run here by Solomon, replacing Linford Christie on this last leg. Probably position he hasn't run that often. Looking nice and relaxed. You can just see the Italian in his right hand side, but he'll be happy with that. I think uh, the way Jason Gardner ran that first leg, he may well return his place. Tony Jarrett perhaps on the second leg and uh, may move Darren Braithwaite on, onto the anchor. Italy the winners, 39 seconds. Great Britain in second place, 39.07. Ukraine third, 39.31. Those are the three definite qualifiers. I can tell you now, the four non-qualifiers, the four fastest non-qualifiers that are going to the semis are Russia, Germany, Ivory Coast and Ukraine. Just to update you on that long jump by Mike Powell, 8 metres 18, it leads the competition and a lot of anticipation if we're going to see Ivan Pedroso from Cuba, a man who this year has jumped over 9 metres. It was a foul, but he could break the world record. <laughs>